and I'm so grateful to be able to share this space with you guys. I woke up this morning feeling happy, feeling happy. Happiness is a is an interesting sensation. It's an interesting emotion, it's an interesting feeling. Happiness is a choice we make. It's a it's a decision that we decide to lean into, to hold on to and to embrace. And sometimes happiness can seem very fleeting. It can seem very far-fetched to be truly happy, you know? If I ask a person, "Well, what makes you truly happy and when are you happiest?" Everyone has a different answer. So what I want to know from you all this morning is when are you happiest? What does that look like? If you take a minute to sit back and just check in with yourself and say, I am happiest when, and then see where that takes you. So before we get started this morning, I want you to take a second to check in with yourself. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes for just a moment and say to yourself, I am happiest when, and see what comes up for you. See what naturally rises to the surface. I am happiest when. Maybe you're happiest when you're resting. Maybe you're happiest when you're with your family. Maybe you're happiest when you're working. Maybe you're happiest when you're at the beach, when you're creating, when you're dancing when you're in movement maybe you're happiest when you're in stillness maybe you're happiest when you're eating or preparing food or maybe you're happiest when you're exercising or maybe you're happiest when you're in your garden or in your backyard or in your in water or wherever you are when are you happiest take a second to breathe into that space I am happiest when. For me, I'm happiest when I'm doing yoga. I'm happiest when I'm near water, near the ocean in particular. I'm happiest when I can feel the sunshine on my face and breeze on my skin. I'm also happiest when I'm lounging around, watching a good movie. I'm happiest when I'm creating, when I'm writing. I'm happiest when I'm sharing space and community with intention and purpose. I'm happiest in those spaces. So as you sit for a moment, just to check in, asking yourself, when are you happiest? And then gently beginning to blink the eyes open and take a moment, if you would, to share with me, when are you happiest? Leaving a comment below, taking up as much or as little space as you like, maybe just one word, maybe one action, maybe one experience. I'd like for you to share with me now, when are you happiest? What does that look like for you? If we can begin to visualize and connect with the sensations that we feel when we think about when we're happiest, what we're doing is creating a connection to that feeling, not the condition, but the feeling when I see smiles. Sometimes we think, oh my gosh, if I had blah 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 if I had this car if I had this home if I had this relationship if I had this body if I had this job if I had this money if I had this particular experience then I could feel happy right when in truth we can sit and go into our imagination station and we can draw up the feelings and the sensations of joy and happiness simply with our thoughts. The conditions don't have to be present for the feeling to exist. And in truth, by the feeling existing, the conditions will begin to move around and shake and vibe to create 
those conditions because that's the way that our world is set up that's the way that our universe is set up the feeling is what attracts the experience the feeling is what attracts the manifestation of the thing that you desire the person that you desire the experience that you desire if you can create the feeling first then everything else will begin to conspire in your favor and bring about those conditions or those manifestations that you have created by attracting through your feeling of happiness. So what this means is that your feelings of happiness, your feelings of joy serve as a magnet so that the universe begins to bring things into your life, to deliver things into your life that just feed that already existing sensation of happiness, of joy, of peace, of abundance, of whatever it is that you are wanting to experience in your life. So when you sit back for a moment and you say, I am happiest when, I am happiest when, you start to draw up a momentum around the sensations of happiness. You start to feel differently. You start to breathe differently. You start to walk differently. You look different when you're feeling and you're operating in the feeling of happiness, of joy. So you know the difference between when you're feeling stressed and you're feeling worried and you're feeling doubtful and you're feeling afraid and you're feeling angry, you're feeling overwhelmed. When you have those heavy feelings on you, what's happening is that you're attracting more feelings like that. Every 17 seconds, we have a new thought. Every 17 seconds, we have a new feeling that comes behind each thought. So we get to decide where do I want to live with my feelings right now? Now, this doesn't mean that you skip down the street and you have rainbows shooting out of your ass all day and you're just like, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. That might not be your day every day, but you can get there. You can get there. And it might take a little work and it might take a little effort and it might take a little patience. It might take a little compassion, but you can get there. Because we've all had those days where we're like, man, pfft, happy. I don't even know what that looks like. I haven't seen happy in forever. And then we have those other days where we're like, oh my God, that was such a good day. That was such a good experience. And we can remember the goodness of the experience by just thinking about it, right? So when we practice meditation, what we're doing is we're training the most powerful muscle that we have which is our mind. And not just the brain itself in a physical sense, but our mind in the non-physical sense. We are exercising and training and stretching and expanding the most powerful muscle we have in our minds. When we meditate, we're teaching ourselves how to draw in and draw awareness to and connect with whatever good feeling that we want. And that's the reason why, one of the reasons why meditation is so powerful and is so effective is because you within meditation have the ability to pull yourself out of a negative feeling and bring yourself into a positive feeling. You have the ability to be able to bring your body to stillness, to focus on your breathing, to allow your physical eyes to close, to allow the outside world to fade to the background so that you can remember your connection with spirit, with God, with goddess, with universe, with source, with the creator. So you can remember how well taken care of you actually are. It's very easy for us to forget how well taken care of we actually are. And when you're well taken care of, the feelings of happiness naturally arise. So as you take a moment to check in with yourself and ask yourself, when do I feel happiest? See if you can start to draw just a tiny little connection to that feeling and start to bring it all the way into this moment, that feeling of joy, that feeling of happiness. And as we start to settle into our seat, it's about that time. 
finding your comfortable seat and starting to draw all of your attention inward. Allow the eyes to fall closed if they have not already. Begin to deepen the breath. Allow the body to settle into a comfortable seat. Just beginning to take notice of any small, subtle sensations or movement in the body. Taking three big inhales and exhales. Breathing in through the nose, drawing in each breath. And breathing out through the mouth, releasing each breath. Two more together, big inhale. Returning to the rhythm of your own breath in and out through the nose. Beginning to check in with your body, beginning at the toes. As you scan each part of your body Allow each space to gently release. The soles of the feet, the shins and the calves, the thighs, the knees. Allowing the legs to become soft. into the lower parts of the back and the seat. Feeling the rise and fall of the belly as it expands with each passing breath. And drawing awareness into the middle parts of the back the shoulder blades, just allowing the breath to pass through the shoulders, down the left arm and the right arm. Drawing awareness into the back of the neck, moving around the back of the head, coming around, down between the eyebrows, softening through the cheeks, releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, letting the jaw become soft. Noticing the sensation of the rise and fall of the chest as you continue to deepen the breath. Be 
beginning to draw awareness into the space just between the eyebrows. And as you direct your attention here, begin to ask yourself one simple question. When am I happy? When am I happy? When am I happy? And as you ask yourself this question, take notice of any sensations that happen in your body when you begin to draw your attention to sensations of happiness, of joy. Notice if a smile begins to form. Notice a sensation of light all around your body. Notice the warming, soothing feeling of joy all around you. sensation of joy to wash over your body, gently touching each and every part of you, joy in your shoulders, joy in your heart, feeling joy in your belly, of happiness. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling. Allow yourself to breathe in the soothing sensations of joy. next couple of moments as we begin to step into a space of silence. Allow yourself a moment to invite the presence of your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, the divine love, the unconditional presence that exists around you. Allow yourself a moment to acknowledge their presence. Our angels and ancestors and spirit guides walk with us all the time holding space for us, providing us with guidance, protection, love. For a moment, just allow yourself to feel their loving embrace. Allow yourself to listen to the whispers of wisdom to your heart. Allow yourself to feel their protection. 
knowing in this moment and every moment that you are provided for abundantly. That all of your needs are met. That each and every desire in your heart is being created manifested just for you. That that sensation of happiness, of joy that you create, allow yourself to feel into the knowing that all things working out for you, that everything is working just for you, for the next couple of moments, begin to find comfort in the quiet. Sip in the sweetness of your stillness. Allow yourself to embrace this loving presence all around you. Deepening the breath here. time comes, you will hear the sound of the bell. And in the meantime, allow yourself these moments to simply be, to be held, to be supported, to be loved. connected to your breath, beginning to introduce small movements into the body, maybe wiggling the fingers and the toes, taking a big inhale through the nose, followed by a long exhale out through the mouth. Taking three more breaths, just like that. Big inhale. Holding for just a moment before the exhale. Two more together. Big breath in. Allow the belly to expand. Allow the heart and chest to lift. And then exhale, squeezing the breath all the way back out. One more 
together. Big breath in. This time holding, suspending the breath, allowing the sensation of fullness to wash over you and then release. Turning the head gently from left to right. Bringing the chin down towards the chest and rocking the head over to the left. Back to center and then rocking the head over to the right. Coming back to the center, bringing the palms together at the heart as you bow your head to your heart and honor yourself for who you are and what you are right now. Honor yourself for showing up, for trying something different and creating something new. Honor yourself for having dreams of possibilities, of continuing every single day to be just a little bit more of yourself. I honor each of you for allowing me to guide you through this practice and to share this beautiful gift with you. I proclaim prosperity, peace, and pure joy over your life as I do mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's rub those palms together and activate some of that beautiful energy we created here today. And then cupping the palms just over the eyes, gently begin to blink the eyes open, letting small bits of light enter. And then let the hands come down and away from the face. And we're back. Hmm, how is everyone feeling after this beautiful meditation this morning? Please feel free to drop a comment below, an emoji or tap the little heart button in the corner. Before I part ways with you for the day, I wanna share a little message from this lovely deck that I've been working with. This is um, Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection. We've been working with this deck together for seven weeks now. We've gotten some great messages and today is no different. <laughs> so today's message is Everyone is doing their best. Everyone is doing their best. What this says to me is a reminder to operate from a place of compassion. Compassion for ourselves and compassion for others. To know that everyone is doing their best lets us know that even when people are not doing what we want them to be doing, even when we see potential in others and we're thinking, oh my God, I wish they would just keep in mind, everyone is doing their best. We're all experiencing a different reality together. We're all experiencing a different world together. We're experiencing a change in culture, a shift in vibe. Everyone is doing their best. So I encourage you to continue to do your best to continue to show up and to know that each day will look different, each moment might feel different, and to know that you have the power within you to tap into that feeling of happiness, that feeling of joy. Just give yourself a breath and a beat to do that. No matter what's going on around you, know that you always have the power to choose how you want to feel and to choose how you want to respond. Thank you guys so much for being here with me for yet another lovely meditation. I appreciate your presence. Hey, Jeremy. Oh my gosh, that's one of my Apple buddies. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Dana. Hey, La. Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you guys for being here with me for yet another lovely meditation. If you have questions about anything that was shared here today, of course, you can send me a DM. I will always respond. I'm really good about responding to my DMs. Some people don't respond to theirs. I always respond to my DMs. So if you ever have a question, feel free to DM me. 
if you want to talk more about meditation if you want to talk more about anything that was shared here today go ahead and shoot me a message i will be here again tomorrow at 10 a.m pacific standard time right here on instagram if you feel led to make a donation the donation information is in the comments